What do we have here? This is Paco. Hey, hi, Paco. Oh, oh, oh. You, you love the camera. <laughs> the Kearns family. Yeah. Hi, doggy. Hi, guys. Would you like to tell me your names and where you were born and raised? What happened that sparked music to you? Uh, my name is Pat Kearns. I was born and raised in Portland, Oregon. And when I grew up, my father had a Macintosh stereo with pretty green lights. <laughs> and when I was about two or three years old, I was allowed to put records on it. Wow. And I fell in love with the lights and the headphones. Understood. Understood. Headphones and lights, okay. And music, okay. Sweet. Do you remember what you were listening to? Um. The Good Vibrations Beach Boys record. Oh. Uh, Herbie Mann. And it was like kind of San Francisco music for the, the white collar sect. Do you remember what it was? Like, you can you sing a, um, a snippet? Herbie Mann. Oh. Different. Oh. Different. I, that's very interesting. Who's that? Yeah, I don't know. He seems to be popular with Bay Area people. Okay. Like, like what kind of music was that? It's kind of like new, new jazz. Ooh. Yeah. Jazz. I, yeah. And what instrument do you play? I play the guitar. The guitar. Yeah. So is that your first instrument? Uh, yeah, I think more, well, yeah. It was. Guitar, yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay. What about you, Miss Susan? What did you learn to play and grow up music with? Uh, what did I grow up with? Um, a lot of radio, radio, like, bubblegum music off the radio. I used to do the same thing with a tape recorder. I guess it's the generation, you know, like tape, tape music on a tape recorder off the radio. And, um, like it was a lot of those like, you know, 70s, like bubblegummy radio songs. I took guitar lessons when I was a teenager and um, took a hiatus from music for, for a long time and then picked up um, bass later in life. Electric first and then I started playing the upright bass and I'm pretty much self-taught. Ah, cool. Wow. So we have an upright bass and, and a guitar. Yep. Well, what's that on your neck? Oh, it's a harmonica rack. So are you playing a harmonica too? Well, I play the harmonica too. I don't know what songs we're doing today. So oh, yeah. I just brought the tools. Okay, great. May I ask you um, a couple questions about music theory? Do you have any words, like dictionary words, that you might um, inspire somebody to research the way chords are built and the relationships between notes for me like a lot of the emotion is in the space between those two or three notes and how they work together i like that too on on the guitar Anything. On the harmonica? Everything. Yeah. Okay. So you, you're a musical... Cool. <laughs> the way everything's put together and just creating that vibe. Yeah. Um, it's magic. You know, yeah. It's magic. You know, it's just, it's always fascinating how, like, every band... Like, we played last night and there were three, we were one of three bands and it's just like... I was just fascinated how every band just sounds so different. You put those people together and that's like what happens. And it's, you know, it's just magic. A superhero, where would, who would you be and why? Iron Man, Rip Boston. I don't know, that's a tough one, I'm, I'm not sure. But being able to fly would be pretty cool. <laughs> yes. All right. Good. Thank you guys so much. We look forward to seeing you guys play today. And if you could think of any childhood memories that you had growing up with music, would you like to share one? My first concert, my aunt took me to see the Beach Boys at Civic Stadium in Portland, Oregon after a Beavers game. <laughs> the local like farm. I was. Family. I don't know who those are. I was gonna say yeah. that. Uh, small, small baseball. Yeah. Uh, my first concert was a music festival. Oh, my sister. Oh, New Scorpions. What? We got some rock and roll and some and some. Wait, did you say Beach Boys or Doobie Brothers? Beach Boys. Beach Boys. 
Nice. It's a little core. Oh, no, no, no. The harmonies. Yeah, the harmonies. It's all about the harmonies. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for chatting. We'll see you soon. There's more.